So on a blank piece of paper, if you've got that in front of you now, if you're driving, don't do this. <laughs> but I want you to write down your monthly goal. What's your income goal? How much do you want to make a month? Just write that down for me. Where do you know you should be at? Like this is what what's your freedom number? Like this is this is good. This is what this is what I know is is good for me. Okay. Every month. Write it down. Now, okay, you wrote, raise your hand. You got it written? Or at least in your head, if you're if you don't have any paper in front of you. Okay. So now below it, I want you to think about or write down what you what you currently make a year, or just put down what you make a month. And then what is the difference between the two? And then put it in the chat. What do you think is the, like, what is the reason for the gap? Throw it in the chat. Like, why is there a gap between what you know God has purposed you to, to be at and where you are currently? Wh why is that? Now, some of you got, now, I, you know, it, it could be that you're making more than you think you should make. Any, anybody like that? Okay. All right. Uh, so some someone says uh, lack of focus and distraction. That's huge. That's that's real. Lack of focus and distraction. Um, thank you for that, Vicky. Anyone else? What what do you think is really causing you to? What's the gap? Like wh where's that gap coming from? What's causing you to be? A, I call it a fraud. You're being a fraud. You're being you're being you're not being who you really are. Uh, probably feeling why uh, would I deserve it? Yeah, that's huge. Um, I have no idea. I'm just trying to figure it out. All right. That's, that's, that's big honesty, Kimberly. Appreciate that. I, she, Kimberly says, look, I don't know. I, I just don't, I, I'm just trying to figure this out. The, the real difference between the two is your mindset. That's it. That's all it is. That's all it is. Because here's the reality. The reality is that if you took away everything that GoGo -Go has right now, it, it will, it'll never happen. But if it did, he'd have it all back in 18 months or 12 months. If you took everything that I have away from me, I have it all back. Uh, the way one guy put it, he said, if you took, because they talk about redistrib redistribution of the wealth, let's just give everybody, give them my money. You ain't, take, you ain't getting my money. Look, I'm from Texas. You you come, come and take it, right? So, but the point is they say, hey, we should just give, let all the wealthy should subsidize the, the, the broke or the poor. Uh, by the way, I want you to understand this. Being poor... OK, is being broke is a temporary uh, financial condition, being broke. That's a temporary financial condition. Being poor is a state of mind. Now, there are people. OK, oh, that that's, believe that's epic. Yeah, that's that's the reality. And there's people that believe that go, go. They sh we should take your money and my money and all the everybody on this class and let's just give it to the poor. Okay. okay, let me uh, just tell you, they should all move to a communist country and they <laughs> very fast. Yeah, but, but here's how Jim Rohn said it. He said, if you gave all the wealth to the people that you're talking about, if you gave all of the wealth to them within 12 to 18 months, it would be back in the same pockets. Because if I give you a millionaire, if I give you a million, you best become a millionaire up here real quick or it's mm -hmm. going to be gone. We've learned that from ball players, from people that win the lottery. I don't care how much money you win in the lottery. If you don't become a millionaire or, or you know, a decamillionaire real quick up here, it's gone. <laughs> you ain't going to keep it because that, that it's going to go to the ones that have this already, you see. And so how much is your current mindset costing you? That's the gap. You say you should be making 10000 more a month. That's your mindset. Okay. So